we were debating a bill and then he got up and, and stood up to speak. I was off the floor in a conference committee. Somebody pulled me out to a TV and said, I think you need to see this. But I wanted to stand and explain my vote because I'm not here looking for your grace. See, God's grace is sufficient. And the reality of the matter is, because there are a lot of preachers in this room, we are not God. We can't be God. I told you I grew up in a Pentecostal church. I understand what that means. Uh, to the point to where if you get pregnant, even if you're going to die, you should die. I know some people that believe that. The problem with that is we are ignoring the woman in this conversation every single daggone time. Here we're in a super minority and the majority is pushing forward bills that are gonna really hurt so many Kentuckians. Listen, I stood up probably for the first time in the state's history, gave a monologue about what it would mean to be shot as a black man. Talked about Senate Bill 150. Talked about lynchings, told you how my family was lynched, how some want to compare that to abortion. What a roller coaster I've been on this session. I've laid all my stories out for you. I explained to you how these types of laws, like 150, would kill people. And the same folks that want to have the, the audacity to vote yes now voted for that legislation. Gentlemen, I apologize. My life matters too, Your Speaker. Three minutes is up. My life matters too, Speaker. You are out of order. My Your three minutes are up. An older white man yelled, sit down. And I was directly behind that man, and I saw the vitriol on his face, and I saw the spittle. I can only imagine that in this white person's mind, he thought he had the right to tell this black person to sit down.